Hello, I am the Blue Sax player, and this is my first Giovanna game I'll be showing you. Um, yeah, let's just play. Um, <laughs> since it's my first game, it's not really the best at performance at the start until I kind of get used to how I play her. Um, okay, let's have a look. I start with Boots, Boots of Speed, because Giovanna with movement speed is really useful because of this ability, I'll talk to the abilities in a minute. But yeah, boots has been three health potions because look look how fast I'm running. <laughs> I mean she seems to have a lot of inbuilt move speed. So I'm running around pretty fast at the moment. Um Okay, the ability I take first is burnout. This deals magic damage per second to nearby enemies. But the thing that makes it great and the reason you buy boots with it is because it makes you move faster while it's active. As you can see, I'm running really fast. Obviously, I'm on Cogmore's slow trail thing. But it makes you run fast. And then you get boots. So when you pass it, you run really, really fast. Which is pretty awesome, considering you need to keep people in that sort of circle you can see when I hover over it. There we go. You need to keep people in that kind of radius. So if you have boots, you can keep them in there. And 25 per second is a lot. Yeah. It's got a... it scales off bonus attack damage as well. But I'm not completely sure on the ratio of that at the moment. Um, next ability, Twin Bite. She attacks twice on her next attack. And it's... and the second of the two attacks that she attacks with um, scales off bonus attack damage. I say at rank 1 it's equal to 80% of her current attack damage, so my attack damage is 61. 80% of that will be 49. Um, okay, so I take that second actually. Um, this is an interesting game because, I mean, Aurelia can solo, Nasus can solo, Giovanna can solo, and um, yeah, it's weird because Nasus also needs to farm his Q, so with me there kind of last hitting as well, you can't get that farmed as well, but it does turn out well. Sivers being an idiot and look, she's got 21 mana already because she's just spamming that boomerang throw. Yeah, your early game is actually, yeah, it's pretty powerful. It's just, I kind of make a big mistake in a minute as you will see. Top lane really. I don't know where Trinity Mirror is. Okay. And then we have our ultimate, which is, which is what makes Yvonne so awesome actually. Everyone's like, oh, Yvonne's so cool because of her ultimate, which basically turns into a dragon, right? I'll talk in a minute. This is this is a mistake. I mean, we get Nasus to wither Sivir. I keep chasing. We ignite Sivir, and we kill her. But then I die directly afterwards. Right, Kogmo gets a crit, one more five damage. Yeah, it's, if we look at the death recap, uh, <laughs> trying to look here. That's it's more the minions. Well, not more than minions. The minions did a lot. 135 or 600 is a sick of my health, which is a lot. So you just don't charge into the minions because they do more damage than you think. Although we did get first blood, so it's better for our team. NASA's got first blood, which is great. It means that you can actually go back and buy boots or something if you want. Um, getting NASA's fed is great early game. It means he can just sit in lane and no one can do anything to stop him. Yeah, it really gets killed by Trindamir. Trindamir is just critting like mad, actually. I should have watched that. He just kept critting at that point. Um, look. Look at the burnout damage on the minions. See, I've got three, uh, three last hits already. So you press W. I think I do. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. So my, if you look at my move speed, 383. Uh, oh, I don't do it for a while. Oh well. Uh, this obviously isn't live, so um, it could be hard, sometimes hard to predict what I'm going to do. Last hits, only 12 last hits. Evan, but we're doing way better than Sivir, who's just normal attacking constantly. Yeah, she gets him there. Thing is, I just keep walking too near to... We keep walking too near to them. They're both ranged, and we're both melee. So they can just keep spamming with normal attacks. I mean, Nasus has got down to half health. I'm on 200 off. And Shivana doesn't have any form of healing, so that's why I have these health potions here. So I just use a health potion now. Health potions are great. And yeah, the reason I got the cloth armor is because I will be 
building Ninja Tabby because physical damage on Sivir, physical damage on Cogmore, physical damage to Trindamir. Yeah. Right, look, my move speed is actually. Uh, I always get exhausted whenever he's burned out. Yeah, I make another big mistake there. I decided to turn around and fight Sivir. Even though I knew that Cogmore was down here and would just come up. Nasty slow could have helped, but it's also the fact that Cogmore can just attack over this wall. Forgot about that. Thought Aurelia might get here faster to help, but didn't. Oh well. Um, Trindamir actually really cleverly um, ignites Nasus, uses his clutch heal, and manages to beat him with ignite. Bit annoying. But yeah, here I have my Ninja Tabby because I got. I've got two assists. I then have enough for a Ruby Crystal as well. So buying defense items is pretty awesome on Giovanna because then she can stay alive for longer inside the fight and bur keep burning people with that burnout. So watch this. Throw, I throw my Flame Breath, which lowers the armor. Then I burn Sivir, and then keep, just keep stabbing her, keep hitting her with my hand thing. And then ignite at the end and it just finishes her off. It's great, I just run in and kill Silver. Cogmore can't chase me because I have burnout, which makes me run really fast. And just with these boots, I already have 400 move speed anyway. Her base move speed is really high. Um, yeah, level up, level up burnout first because at rank 3, it's got 55 damage per second. Now, if that lasts for 3 seconds, but with her passive, Every time you attack someone, it, it extends the duration by one second, up to a maximum six. Six times fifty is three hundred, so three hundred damage from one ability is really, really good. Obviously, you factor in resistances and such, but if you look at the damage on other abilities, it's really good. And it makes it run fast, so... And the, the move speed bonus is greater the more you, um... the, the more you level up. I don't know if you caught it there, but if you looked at Sivir's armor, she had two armor, which is quite funny. <laughs> Burns 15% of their armor. She had two armor, which is pretty much true damage. I missed the fireball there. But the reason I don't level up the fireball is because it doesn't do particularly good damage. Scales of ability power, which is a bit annoying. Um, it's not really that great. It's good. You always use it at the start because it burns that armor so then you can continue to attack them with increased damage. Yeah, <laughs> not much to say really. I really just killed Shrindamir, I was going to go help but didn't need to. So burn out, throw, I haven't thrown my E yet. I throw my, uh, I threw it at Sivir, see she's got the mark above her head. We just kill Sivir. And the Kog'Maw flashes, so that I activate burnout, 510 move speed. Incredible. So then we just run in and <laughs> kill Cogmore as well. He can't run away because he only had 375. Okay, now I have my ultimate, which is awesome. That's the range on it. And you just fly, you turn into a dragon and fly in that direction. You'll see me use it. It's great, but all her abilities gain special effects when you um, are in dragon form. So as it says here, twin bike thieves all units in front of Shivana. So it kind of gets a range. So you, you hit someone with Twin Bite, and it goes in a cone in front, kind of, when you actually attack someone. Burnout, it leaves a trail. You'll see later in the clip how useful this is. Um, at a specific point, you'll see where it becomes really useful. Um, Flame Breath goes in a cone as well, so it's more area effect. She has this, which is area of effect in Dragon. This, which is amazing area of effect. And then Flame Breath, which hits in a cone. And there's also the fact that when she turns into a dragon, she does 200 damage to anyone who she flies over. Okay, always buy wards here. <laughs> it's just a point I want to make. You always buy wards here because we can see Trendamir coming down. And Nasus manages to survive. Um, this is quite interesting actually. Turn into a dragon on Trendamir. Look, I'm level six. He's level eight two levels below and he's got kind of similar similar amount of gold worth of items as me yet I could beat him in a one-on-one -on -one fight as you see so yeah just 
take it, Giovanna is one of the best duelists in the game. And when I say duelist, I mean someone who can do a 1v1 fight. Just because of her constant damage output. And she just turns, and she's trying to escape, she can turn into a dragon and chase people. Siva is really not doing well. She bought a tier of the goddess. She obviously needs, Siva needs the mana really, really well, but she's doing an odd build actually. Yeah, um, obviously you can't see Nasus' health. That health up there is false. Because of low replay. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's the best thing really out there for doing replays and such. But yeah, look how fast Burnout clears the minion wave. It actually shows that Shivana can jungle, and I might actually do a jungle Shivana video if I can be bothered. I don't know, it depends whether people want one or not. But yeah, just just killing minions really, there's not much else to do. Um, we don't want to go and get kill Trindamir because in 3v3 there's that amazing escape where Trindamir can dash over this wall here, or this wall here. Um, you generally don't bother. Yeah, we try and bait bait the enemy to walk into this bush. But then Nasus decides to kind of run out and show that we're here and say, Hey guys, walk into this bush because we're going to kill you. Yeah, um, <laughs> that doesn't happen. The great thing about Shivana's Fury meter, it doesn't go down like Renekton's over time. Once she's got a Hunter Fury, she has a Hunter Fury. And it doesn't go down until you actually activate your ultimate. And it goes up whenever you hit stuff. Hit things. So yeah, turn to a dragon. And the move speeds increase. I get exhausted, but I'm still keeping up with them. Now, this is where... Is it? No. So, I just run. Cogma will kill me. But look, activate burnout. Look at the trail and look at this health. Bloop, 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 bloop. That does about a third of his health. That's why... It, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that useful, but if someone is chasing you, you turn into dragon form, you use burnout, and it does it does the 70 plus 4 magic damage that it says here, per second. Really powerful. So Twin Bite is now level 2, does 85%. It goes up by 5% when it gets to level 5, rank 5. It's an extra 100%, so it's just double damage attack. 45%. It's you've got to notice that burnout is a percentage faster. So the more move speed you have without um, activating burnout, the more you'll gain from burnout. So getting things like boots of swiftness could be pretty awesome too. So yeah, we just noticed Siv as being a complete idiot and standing there. Um, I don't have enough fury. If I did, I just turn to dragon and kill them, but. That'd be overpowered. Look, Cogmore decides to flash on Nasus because he doesn't think anyone's there. So while Nasus is busy not at Cogmore, I chase Siva. Easy kill. Nasus turns into a just becomes god Nasus. And you know destroys everything. Look at the damage over time on these minions. It's Nasus oh he's not on. When he was in his ultimate and he just did so much damage over time that means his health kind of melts. But yeah, I then, have, as you can see in the items, got my phage. I'm actually going for a frozen mallet because I, I've been speaking about how Shivana needs move speed so she can keep you pulling her burnout. If she gains frozen mallet, her normal attacks slow the enemy, so she, that's another way of keeping people in your burnout. Um, and it gives you health as well. So that's more health to be survivable. Survival? To gain survivability. Trindamir's is pummeling Nasus. Nasus uses Ghost, gets away easily, and the Raider comes to save the day. But if you don't, I don't. It's just the damage a Raider's doing is really good actually. She doesn't even have a Trinity Force yet. Um. Yeah, I'm back. Um, I have my ultimate at the moment, which is great. I have loads of health, so. I can actually jump over this wall. I don't think I do, I think I just run. Wait for it, there goes the dragon. Um, 
um, she uses a spell shield, which is sad. She gains. I know that she, <laughs> the funny thing is that Civ a spell shield makes her gain mana e uh, equal to the amount of mana it ca costs to cast a spell, but this doesn't cost anything, so she doesn't gain anything. She just blocks it. It's quite funny. Yeah. Also get red buff. Look. So it's a uh, 40% slow when throws a mallet when you attack people, and then you have an extra slow from red buff. I'm not sure about the percentage completely. But yeah, what I'm doing is I'm kind of leading red buff more to the side. So if Shrindamir does come up into this bush here, we can, I, so I have more time to get away. It's, it's a slow based on their level. So, we're level 10. Yeah, I don't know whether this works out, but I think I just sit here and wait. Yeah, Cogma comes into the bush, so look at the damage that's being done to him. His health just drops so fast. Kill Cogma. And then come and see Siva start attacking her. Stab, stab, stab. And then Nasa just comes in and steals my kill. Great. Yeah, at least someone got the kill, that's all I'm going to say. At least someone got it. But at least I got all the last hits. It's about 300 gold. So he's even dancing. Hmm. Oh well. It's about 300 gold for a kill here. I'm trying to get the camera right. There we are. Um, I'm not sure how many last hits that is. 25 times a certain number. About 20 last hits, I say. 20 last hits. 20, 30 last hits for a kill. Yeah, get a recurve bow because you want to be applying that frozen mallet. Speed debuff. And your red buff. Speed debuff. There's also the. um. Her dragon, sorry, her fury. So her dragon form, she can only cons exist in a dragon form as long as she still has fury after activating it. And she gains fury whenever she normal attacks someone. So if she just continues to normal attack people, she can actually stay in dragon form permanently if she has enough attack speed. I think I just about have enough attack speed at the moment. That recurve bow, I think, gives you just enough. If you had kind of attack speed runes, then it'd be fine. But yeah, then the game just. After I realised how good Shivana is at just 1v1ing people, or even 2v1ing people in that case when that's a stomach kill. Um, once you realise, once I realised that, I just thought, okay, there's Cogmore, let's go turn to Dragonfly onto him. So yeah, Cogmore comes in, thinks, oh, let's 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 try and stop them from taking the tower. Um, I think we just say no, no, we we keep running. For the best idea. Yeah, Cogmore's here, so I just kill him. Yeah. Turn to a dragon. Um, and just kill Siva. Yeah, they decided to. He decided to try and chase with the Nasus, which is really bad considering Nasus can wither people, Nasus can. Nasus generally has a lot of move speed, especially since he finds Trinity Force. I have a lot of move speed I can chase. Yeah, another note is that Twin Bite hits inhibitors, so look, watch, 100, 100, 100. I think I use it. Yeah. Oh no! It doesn't hit inhibitors, sorry, it only hits towers, because we did that earlier. Yeah, look at, look at, although you can gain Fury off, ta off the inhibitor, you can see my um, Fury's going up. But yeah, I'm not technically fed, but I can just kill Pogmar at this point. He has nothing in terms of items, to be honest. Um, thanks to a great Nasus Wither, I do manage to get away with 5.56 five, move speed, Ghost plus Burnout. This bit's quite interesting actually, turn into a dragon, onto Siva, hit her with everything. Look at my health. Oh, I just die. Siv, I do 1,500, whereas Siv does about 400. Yeah, luckily, um, Siv does get picked up by a radio. I think. Not completely sure how items, to be honest. Why? Why? She did have a Berserker's Greaves and two Vamp Scepters, and before that, she had like two of the God. I think she's just given up. She says here that. Um, it's the first game, I don't know. But, I mean, one of the other reasons for this video is that you can see my mistakes and I can explain what I'm doing wrong, what I should have done. 
which is useful to people who are new to playing the game or yeah, they've just started playing. <sighs> yeah. I think Trinity Mid gives up. He just decides to not stop a radio from killing the inhibitor because he knows he can't. I gain I get a malady. And a malady? I didn't say that. Wit's end, wit's end. Because I don't know. Really. I know it's in the recommended build, I think that's probably the main reason I bought it. Um you can see it's doing an extra that he has zero magic resist. Um it it stack it's got stacking magic resist reduction. Oh no. Oh sorry, that's the old wit's end. The new wit's end after the changes. Each attack does a bonus forty two magic damage. Your basic attacks increase your magic resist. Um I'm not completely sure why I got that. They they don't do magic damage at all really. I suppose Cogmo's ultimate is magic damage, so if you've been stacking your magic resist up when you're running away, you get more I'm not sure. You're really for the really for the attack speed to be honest. And the extra damage. So I've got red buff damage, I've got burnout damage going on, and I've got wit's end damage, that's an extra three sources of damage. Your team has um plus all my normal attacks. Yeah. They they kind of can't win at the moment. So we just win. So not much happens. You can you can guess what happens next. Yeah, to ensure that we kill Trendemir, at this point I should have gone around the back. And then Dragon formed onto him. He would have been pushed across that into the um in the uh, Nexus. So we could have made sure he didn't dash out into the side. But yeah. But she won the game and I won, so I was quite happy about that. Um Victory! Yeah, um st stay tuned for more videos I suppose. I might do a jungle Shivana video sure it depends because I don't know if I have the runes. I mean I'm level 30, I've been playing for a while but I don't know if I have that much IP. So yeah, thanks for watching.